Last time on Doki Doki Literature Club. You don't understand at all, Brayden. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat swinging being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. It's hot. I, I didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. I you finish the ivory, you start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer. Feels really nice. Just say, are you? Huh? Eh. Uh, hi, Brayden. Sayori, just now we weren't. He, it's okay, Brayden. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll be all together at the festival tomorrow, so... So is that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Y yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurdles off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. <laughs> Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Eh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagine was being really mean to me. So I had to come over, come and s here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Siori's face. What, already? That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Brayden? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why doesn't it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. What the? Don't say that. Siori, don't say that. Uh, see, I told you. It's true, Brayden. If I wasn't here, you wouldn't be have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I suggest... Monica? Monica was right about what? Siori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you... Like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm gonna be by your side until you don't won't feel don't feel any more pain. But but Siri looks away. I'll put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Brayden. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Siori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. Siori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak. I started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Brayden, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Siori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Siori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how, how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Worthlessly, Siori nods. And if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Sayori? I'm gonna say... I love you, because... It's gonna help her feel happy, because she doesn't want to be depressed. And what did Monica say to her? Hmm? I think Monica's being a bad person right now. I'm not gonna say this one, because... Yeah. It's weird. I'm gonna save. Let's see if that's gonna happen. I love you. I love you. Hmm? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could ha like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone else, everyone at the club, making new friends, making fun with you every day, helped me realize that you're truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens, as long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side. Then I know we'll both be happy. Brayden. <gasps> Just the hugging. Look at that. Yes, I opened the time because I didn't know. But there's hugging. Look at this. It's so good. Suddenly, Siri wraps her arms are tightly around me. Brayden, is this really okay? Yeah. I held Siri in my arms as I pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Brayden. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Siri's group around, around me weaken a little bit. What is this? 
Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? We're not going away at all, Brayden. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again, but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. I, I trust you. Sarah and I slowly re release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? He, <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it's always been. You know, if we really are a couple. I don't know if you can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Brayden. Terry gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. And if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Huh? I don't really understand what Suri means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Suri? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I feel like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain when it comes to Suri. I know that I love her, and she loves me, but I'm having much trouble understanding Suri's feelings as she is, even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Suri meant by not wanting to change? Wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give, every, if, give it any, everything I've got. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with my words? I'm saying weird things. Siri is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. That's good. It's the day of the festival. Of all the days, I expected this to be the one where I would be walking to school with Siri. But Siri isn't answering her phone. I like her going to her house to wake her up, but decide that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. Ben or Yuri and I... Painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way Natsuki uh, about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I could spend time with Yuri and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. How much time did I go? 35 minutes? Okay. Brayden, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. My guy's placing little bookets on each of the desks in the classroom. It must be the one she prepared that I'll have the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm supposed you didn't bring Siri with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days this important she try a little harder? I say that, but I suddenly remember what Siri told me yesterday. And suddenly I feel awful knowing it's not really that simple for her. I only said it because of the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone and wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Brayden. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? M Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sarah really tell her about that that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know how know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Huh? Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt chilled down my spine after hearing it. Ugh. Hey, you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. She's... Monica's being weird. She's being creepy all of a sudden. I wonder what she said to Siori, though. And where is your Siri slept again? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh, yeah, they really did. I think... <laughs> Siori is just thinking. I don't think she would commit suicide. Would she? No, she wouldn't. She wouldn't do that. Because I'm there. Why would she do that? It's weird. Why would you commit suicide if I'm right there? Comforting. <laughs> Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I th yeah, I thought so too. And you disappeared, so I can't I can just edit that out. <laughs> or not. Mm. I flipped through the pages. 
Each member's poem is nearly neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems for the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Siori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Get out of my head, 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 get out of get out of my head. There's a percent sign right there. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I know you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Gosh, this is freaking scary. Okay, now it's getting scary. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I, I get a pit in my stomach. Brayden, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Siori's written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Siori, so... Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? Should I have tried a little harder for Ciardi? Not... Did I just roll my R? <laughs> I went like that. Okay. How much time do I got? 40? Okay. Hopefully Ciardi is okay. Because she's acting weird. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides... I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and that's what I want to give her. I reached Yuri's house and knock on the door, and I expect an answer since she's not picking up her from her phone either. Yet yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? Surely's a heavy sleeper. I swallow. Oh, no. Please say she didn't do it. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Oh no. Dude, I'm. Waking up in her own house. This is really something that a boyfriend wouldn't do, isn't it? In any case, it, it just feels right. Outside Siori's room, I knock on her door. Siori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Can I br breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. <sighs> Please don't be dead. If, you, if you're dead, I'm going to freak out. I need to calm down. <sighs> oh! Are you kidding me? An exception has occurred. Why? This is sad. I don't think I can show this on YouTube, though. How'd you even tie that on the roof? What the heck? What the heck? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sierra wouldn't do this. 
Everything was normal until up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe when my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Siri I would be there for her. I told her that I know what's best, that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? Why could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Siori needed at all. Right when I started getting attached to these characters? Oh my gosh. This is sad. And even told me, she even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. And why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts came me telling everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spend more time with her, walk her to school, remain friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can rest and try something different. I only had one chance and I wasn't feeling caref I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Why? I'm actually gonna cry, dude. I can't get that image out of my head. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Why does Siori look like Monica and Yuri and Natsuki? I can't handle this anymore. I'm gonna end this episode. I need to take a break. As I started getting attached to the characters, I... Well, this is gonna be an episode. I need to take a break. Um... I'm shaking. <laughs> um... So... So, um... There's the file thing. It said the file, like exception something. The file thing. Um... So I'm just gonna look at that real quick. Um, cause I want to see what that is. So, let's go get electric club. I got the DDLC. What is this? Oh, you got the DDLC stuff. Copyright characters. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh 